Good day buddies, I hope you're doing well out there. And I'm glad that you're present on this episode. Anyway, if you've watched our video in the past, where I ordered an acrylic pipe, you probably know that this was supposed to be, my trap jaw and colony's terrarium. But the arrival was greatly delayed, anyway. My two years old Polyrakis colony have outgrown their current setup few months ago, so, let's see what I have managed to build using the acrylic pipe. Anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're also welcome, to, D Colony. I will just show you a flash build buddies, since this was pretty the same with our bottle terrarium build. And we'll be focusing more on the ant activities. I started the build by attaching the bottom plate, using acrylic cement as usual. We will also install one expansion port. For the lid. We're again installing magnets. I'm into this magnets lately on our previous builds since I find it very useful, especially on the covers which we open, and closed every day. And after finishing the enclosure, I checked it for some leaks. Before setting up the ant terrarium. I used Hydraton as drainage layer. Then installed a draining mesh. And substrate. The substrate mixture is the same on what I used on my fire ant vivarium. You can refer to this video on the iCard. For more details on building different terrarium layers, we will also set a driftwood for our Polyrakis colony to build their nest into. I planted fern and nerve plants here at first. Change my mind and planted vines like photos and some wandering Jews instead. I also planted some moss. But I'm not sure if they will thrive here, since we don't know where will the colony build their nest. And they may accidentally cover the mosses from light, which, they need to be able to survive. Then I introduced the colony in. I tried to film the emigration buddies, but I failed. I don't even noticed the move, cause they take months before moving in. Based on my experience, Polyrakis dives buddies are one of their most difficult species to move from one enclosure to another. Even if you light and heat them up, they will still take a lot of time before deciding to move. I just noticed it, when I saw them already weaving their nest in the driftwood. So I provided them more leaf litters, and dried moss to use on their nest construction. Let's watch them build their nest later, on time lapse. While filming. This worker and carrying their dead, got my attention. Cause she will continue to do it in the next 8 hours. And we can see her doing her thing throughout the video. This colony buddies also appears on some of our previous videos like this one, when they gave a test run, on our DIY liquid feeders, aside from sugar water. They will also love fruit slices once in a while, look at this worker showing away the springtails from their slice of apple. This ant species buddies are very easy to care for. They're not picky eaters, and will consume most foods like normal ants do. Even dried treats like this mealworm will be greatly accepted without a question. 
The rest of the colony are staying on the crevices, and under the driftwood, while their future nests are being built. After constructing their nest on the underside, some of the workers immediately started expanding it to the backside of the driftwood. They've even managed to bring the dry twig up. On this time lapse, you will notice those small white insects crawling up to the glass. Those were springtails, who act like janitors of this ant farm. They were trying to go up as high as possible, but will fall eventually upon reaching the ant barrier. Even at night the weaving never stops, as they are also expanding their nest construction to the front of the driftwood. And after more than 48 hours, the nest construction has been completed. and the colony started to transfer and occupy the newly constructed nest. Stay tuned on our next episode buddies as we will look at our Polyrakis colony, several months later in this terrarium. How it ends up, as green as this. and the hardships they've been through, before turning two years old, and I will also show you how we face problems like this as a team. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye, for now, but hoping to see you on my next videos.